guys, I am going to show you my May bullet journal and it's the very last entry in this one. My very first bullet journal, so I'm done with this and I'm moving into something new, which is perfect because we have sold our house and all of our stuff and as of next week we're homeless and heading off to Europe and our kids will be coming with us, our two young daughters of course, and they're going to be backpacking with us and uh, it's going to be quite the adventure. So I'm taking my regular notebook and turning it into a travel bullet journal. I probably should have made a script for myself. Alright, so let's jump right in and I will show you what I've set up for myself for you. Hi guys, this is my new bullet journal. So you can see that I've added a title page that says my second bullet journal. And all I did was doodle some nice flowers around there. I really like the way this page turned out. And then I've got my future log on this side. And I started in July because I really just wanted to have an even amount of months set up on this page. And because we're already almost in June, I don't think I need it in my future log because it's technically my present. And then I went and I traced a map of Europe because that's where we're going. And every time we visit a country, I want to be able to shade that in. And I have my travel bucket list right here too because there are a few absolute must-see places for me that I want to make sure that I don't miss. So then I went right into my Hello June so that I can see my whole month laid out just like that. And this is the first time that I am doing a habit tracker. I've never done one before. So um, for me, it's important to do my bullet journal entries to get exercise every day. And for me, one of the purposes of this big adventure that I'm about to take is to be able to talk to strangers and feel comfortable around people. Um, and then I'm doing my social media tracking here and my mood tracker at the bottom. Okay, and then on this page, it's my month setup. And um, I like that I've done this shading every other line because it helps for me to be able to see exactly where I want to be writing. And I still carry it on that flower theme up here and I do this big flower doodle on this page I might add an inspirational quote here at some point or I might actually just go ahead and put my travel tickets in here or I'm not sure we'll leave that blank and I'll fill it in when I become inspired okay so for this page this is this week um, I don't have it filled out yet because I wanted to show it to you blank first um, I was really inspired I saw someone else's bullet journal and they had done something like this so I thought I'm gonna give it a try I've never done a weekly spread like this before and I've left a good amount of brain dump space, which I really need every month. And um, yeah, after today, I will go ahead and fill the rest of this in. And then this is my lodging tracker. Um, I want to be able to keep track of what country I'm in, where I'll be staying, those dates, um, the contact info in case I need to contact any of those places quickly, and then the cost. Because at the end of this six month adventure, I want to be able to see how much the lodging costs, just for fun. So that's it for now. I've left this page blank because I'm going to do my daily spread here, um, which I will start tomorrow because tomorrow is June 1st. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.